dear friends in this video i am going to discuss about reasons why auditors resign before the term expiry see in recent days auditors have started to resign as statutory auditors from big companies even in district companies and private limited companies due to various reasons i am going to discuss about in detail about the in this video why they resign what is the reason they are giving pwc and other big uh, audit firms have resigned from big projects i am all will be discussed in this video resignation of statutory auditor section 140 subsection 2 of the companies act 2013 deals with the resignation of auditor and its related compliance as per provisions if any auditor resigns from the company then he shall file an intimation to the about his resignation with the register of companies and with the company within 30 days from the date of resignation filing form adt3 by resigning auditor in purview of the section 140 subsection 2 of the act to the uh, rule 8 of the companies audit and auditors rules 2014 requires auditor to file intimation about their resignation with roc in form adt3 auditor who resigns from the from his office of the auditor of the company is required to file form adt3 within 30 days from the date of this resignation please note that responsibility to file adt3 lies with the auditor not and not with the company it is applicable to all companies including private limited company so both listed unlisted and the public limited company and also private limited company a record number of 35 auditors have resigned from nse listed companies in first six months of financial year 2019-20 Mid term cessation of auditors in NSE listed companies. Cessation reason and uh, number of 2019 to 2000 April to September number of auditors resigned. Pre occupation 11 resigned without stating reason 7. Resigned due to com commercial reason 3. Reason due to unsatisfactory response to queries 3. Non payment non payment of the dues 1. Deloitte resigns as a BK Miles statutory auditors raises fraud concerns. Deloitte Askins and Sells has resigned from BK Miles as its statutory auditor effective from November 15, 2019. The company intimated to stock exchanges. Considering the significance and gravity of the matters, including inter alia concerns relating to revenue recognition, management override of controls. the material weakness noted in the company's material financial controls over financial reporting the management imposed scope limitation on the audit of subsidiaries and providing other information the non receipt of forsenic investigation report etc as report by delight in in their audit report containing disclaimer of opinion on the stand alone and the consolidated financial statements of the company for the year ended 31st march delight cited as its reason for resignation price waterhouse quits as a statutory auditor of the gvk power in recent days very recently price waterhouse chartered accountants llp on 14th august 2020 announced that it has quit as the statutory auditor of gvk power and infrastructure limited alleging that the group was not cooperating the in the audit work for their mumbai airport operations on june 14 2019 pwc resigned as uh, reliance capital on june 14th infi beam fired its joint statutory auditor infi beam the bsc listed company based in ahmedabad on 14th june 2019 apprised the ministry of corporate affairs mca of its decision to sack srbc and company as its joint statutory auditor this comes about a month after the company alleged that the auditor the inter part of the ui network leaked sensitive information to years back pwc resigned as a reliance capital as auditor on june 14 2019 
PwC resigned as Reliance Capital and Reliance Homes Finance Auditor and shot a letter to MCA alleging divergence of funds in the group companies. In the letter dated June 11, 2019, PwC also alleged that the company also threatened legal action impairing the ability of the auditor. The firm also stated in the letter that it suspected fraud and raised red flags over some transactions involving Reliance Capital and Reliance Home Finance. Statutory auditor resigned by mentioning the real genuine reason transparently. In this case, it's a very strange case. A fees increase not agreed by client. Citing this reason, a statutory auditor resigned from the a private limited company. SHR and Co. Chartered Accounts Mumbai, an audit firm, resigned a statutory auditor from Kufik Biosciences Private Limited as auditor of the company. The reason cited by the b auditor in this in its report as is as follows: the fees not and a peculiar case increased as we have indicated to the management that our audit fee is not commensurate with the time and efforts involved. Hence, required to increase our audit fees which has not been accepted by favorably by the management. In these circumstances, we are unable to continue to act as a statutory auditor and hence tendered our resignation as statutory auditors of the company. Friends, this is very bold step stating that commensurate of the work involved, the management is not uh, ready to come forward and enhance its fees. That's why it's not going to audit that company so it's a very frank and a uh, statement given by the auditor like that the statutory auditors like statutory auditors even cost auditor and secretary should come forward if the fee is very less they, they should not accept the work on competitive basis if the fee should be very moderate as suggested by the icic institute if they they should not work below that fees and if they find that the fees is very meager then they should resign like what this come this audit firm has done friends i think this video will be very informative to you if you like this video i request you to subscribe my channel so that whenever I issue new topic videos it will come to you directly thanking you once again rv shagar practicing company secretary